Okay, welcome to um, Photoshop, layering and use of filters. So first thing you need to do is go to the start menu and pick out Adobe Photoshop. Your version will be slightly different to mine. Then you need to open um, a new uh, document. So I go to create new, you will need to go to file now. And all I want is to work with a photograph. So um, you've got selections there to make. I'm going to change mine because I'm using centimeters to an A4 document. So 21 by 29.7 centimeters okay and resolution 150 as i want to add them to a web page so then you've got your blank document you're going to bring your first image in so file and place or place embedded which i have and find your image in your photo file and you'll see that there's a cross going through. So whilst it's still not placed, you can free transform. So just grab in the corners to get it into place and size. Okay. And then click a cursor. You will have a window coming up saying place. So that's placed the image in uh, the document. You can see there that it's actually added the layer so on the right hand side then your layers tab it's added that layer so i want to change that now into the style of a uh, reese pattern so using the image drop down menu adjustments okay first of all i'm going to change the hue saturation of the color just move that out of the way so we can see what's happening and I want to increase the saturation more so brighten those colors up a little bit so then I want to create a style so I'm going back into image adjustments and posturize so you can see there that it's actually simplified picked out the color pixelations and simplified um, the levels okay in so if I take it right down to two doesn't really work okay you can click in where it says the number of um, levels I'm gonna stick it on four okay and click OK so I've actually changed that now to look a little bit more like uh, Reese Panton so that's the first layer so what I'm gonna do now is repeat that so file, place, use the same image, take that in, make sure it's the same size, so grab in the corners, the squares in the corner to stretch it and cover the original image. You can see then on the right hand side in the layer tab that it's actually added a second photo layer. Okay, so want something a little bit different on this one so rather than you were using the image drop down menu i'm going to go to filter and filter gallery so it opens up a new window you can see the image here in the big square so I'm actually going to just minimize that a little bit so i can see the whole image and i can see what's being created okay and what I want to do then is use one of these uh, filters. So I think paint daubs maybe. So we've got a little bit more uh, abstractness to, to that kind of layer. And I'm looking at the trees in the middle there. So in the middle ground. Okay, fiddle around until you're happy and click OK. Right, so I've got two layers now, one on top of the other. If you use this eye um, button here, okay, you can see that if I click on that and close the eye, 